How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over how to calculate mole fractions and when we do these we're usually going to use this formula right here. Um, Xa equals the moles of A over the moles in total. So first off we'll start with this one. Okay, 0 0.850 moles of NaCl is dissolved in 250 grams of H2O. What is the mole fraction of NaCl? So first off we're just going to want to get our H2O into moles. So what do we have? 250 grams of H2O. And that is going to be one mole of H2O per 18.02 grams of H2O. So now we're just gonna quickly do that calculation. 250 divided by 18.02 it's going to give us 13.87 moles of H2O. So now we know how many moles of water we have. Now we can go from there and get the mole fraction. So the mole fraction of NaCl is going to be 0 0.850 mole of NaCl per total moles. So what we have for our total is going to be this plus this because it's our moles of water plus our moles of uh, solute. In this case it's NaCl. So we have 13.87 plus 0.85. It's going to be 14.72 mole total or mole solution, whatever. And then we just do that dividing. So 0.850 divided by 14.72. So what we're gonna get for our mole fraction, it's going to be 0 0.05774, um, or you can just round it up to 0.058. And there's not actually going to be units on the end of mole fraction because it's it's more of a mathematical thing than a than anything else really. Um, so anyway, that is the first example. And as you can see, these aren't too bad. Um, we're going to get into one that's a little bit more complex, but um, overall, I think they're they're more of like an add-on. They're, they're you know a larger problem might ask you to additionally calculate the mole fraction um, on top of something else. So I'm just going to. So anyway, now we're on to this one. 38 grams of water is mixed with 12.2 grams of pentane. Uh, what is the mole fraction of each substance? So in this case, we're going to be looking for the mole fraction of both of these. Uh, it's water mixed with pentane. Um, and if you're not sure what pentane is, whenever there's a, you know, like a, I don't know, whenever there's a carbon chain, it's, it's a pentane, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. 2, 3, 4, 5. You can draw it out as a chain like that and then kind of figure out what, what you have for your, your um, actual compound uh, formula. And then from there you can get the molar mass. But like for instance, uh, if you have pentane or hexane, uh, it's gonna be just count the number of carbons and then make one of these. And then I like to just kind of draw a line for each hydrogen. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, assuming it's saturated. So we have C6, I'm sorry, that, that was my bad, C5. And then we have 12 H12. And that is going to be what we're looking for the molar mass of. And in this case, that's going to be 72.15 grams. I'm sorry, um, grams per mole. So we have 72.15 grams per mole, and then we're just going to keep going with that. So 12.2 grams um, of pentane. And then we have one mole of pentane on top. And then we're going to sub in our molar mass, 72.15 grams of pentane. So grams will cancel. 
And then we're going to just divide 12.2 by 72.15. And there we're going to get 0.169 moles of pentane. So there we go. Um, now, pentane's mole fraction is going to equal, again, we use this formula here. So we have our um, 0 0.169 because it's A in this case, and then it's going to be over our total. Um, and we have 38 grams of water with that. So for our total right now, we technically don't know it, uh, but we can get it really quick by just figuring out how many moles of water. So we have 38 grams of H2O times one mole of H2O over 18.02 grams of H2O. So we just do the 38 divided by 18.02. It's going to give us 2.12. I think that's actually 2.1. That rounds up to 2.11. So we have 2.11 moles of water. And then for our total moles, it's going to be 2.11 plus 1 point, uh, or 0.169. So we have 2.11 plus... 0.169 our um, whole total is going to be 2.279 so that is the bottom number for each of these and then for that we'll put that right into here 2.279 so we have 0.169 divided by 2.279 is going to equal, so I'll put it all the way over here, pentane's mole fraction and water mole fraction. So for this we get 0 0.074 for pentane and then for water we're just going to do the 2.11 um, and what we'll do is we'll divide that by the total which is 2.279 and we're going to get 0 0.9258 so we can just do 926 and go from there so essentially what we have though in this circumstance when we're when we're asking for there's only two substances and we're asked to find both of them. In this case, what we could have done, which is debatable whether or not it will actually save you time or any effort, um, is you could take the mole fraction of pentane and then just subtract that or subtract that from one. So you take one minus 0 0.074 and that's what you'll get. And a good way to double check these questions is do it one way and then do it the other way. If you're, if you're like me and you're a little bit paranoid and making a wrong answer, uh, when you have the time to check it, it doesn't hurt to just check it. Um, so I think in that case, like I said, it sometimes will save time, sometimes it won't, sometimes it's more or less. And if you have three or more that you're trying to calculate the mole fractions of, again, whatever you have left over, your mole fraction should always add to one. So that's a good way to like double check yourself. All right, cool. So uh, I'm not really going to be able to circle these, but those are our answers there. And then we'll just move on to the last problem I have in this set. All right, so this one is gonna take up a bit more space. I'll throw this right over here and move to the bottom. Okay, so commercially available disinfectant solution X contains 32.5% hydrogen peroxide by mass and that's aqueous. Uh, what is the mole fraction of the hydrogen peroxide, assuming the disinfectant solution also contains 1.5% bleach, which is NaOCl, by mass, and the rest is water? So for there, uh, we're not given a total mass. So if we're, whenever we're not given a total mass, um, substitute in 
100 grams. And that's just going to make it easier, especially because if we have a percentage or something, uh, you know, you can directly translate it. it. You know, you don't have to rearrange things as, as more, uh, you know, more, more work. And then calculate all moles based on 100 grams. And that's just going to make our lives a lot easier. So we're kind of going to break it down by each each thing that's involved here. So first of all, we'll do H2O2, which is the hydrogen peroxide. What do we have? So we have 32.5 grams because it's our percent. We're just subbing it in. Um, and then we're going to do one mole per 34.01. That is the molar mass. And for that, we're going to get... Zero point nine five five six moles of H two O two. Now for our NaOCl, we have one point five grams because one point five percent, and then for that we're going to multiply that by one mole over seventy four point four four grams. So we have. 0 0.0134 moles of our bleach, NaOCl. And lastly, we're going to have our water, which is going to be the remainder. So we have 32.5 plus 1.5, 34 minus 100. It's going to give us 66 um, grams of water. And that's going to be times one mole per 18.02 grams. So we have 66 divided by 18.02. It's going to give us 3. Point Six, six. I guess yeah, three point six six two five mole of whatever um, H two O. Okay, cool. So now we got some numbers here. We can sum these. So we got point nine five five six of the uh, hydrogen peroxide plus point one. Oops, not oh, doing it. 0.9556 plus 0.0134 plus 3.66 is going to give us 4.629 um, moles total. Okay, so now we have our the, the total number of moles based on, again, this 100 grams that we substituted in. Um, and from there, we can kind of take it to this formula and do it per each of them. So, um, I'll kind of make a table here. Mole fractions. H2O2 is going to be, we're just going to take this and divide it by that. So we have 0.9556 divided by 4.629 is going to give us 0 0.2064. I'll just go to 4. Um, then we have NaOCl. Our NaOCl is going to be 0 0.0134 divided by 4.629. We're going to get 0 0.0029. And then finally for our water, H2O, we're going to have our moles, which is 3.66 divided by 4.629. That's going to give us 
zero point seven nine zero six. Oh, that, that should be zero seven, but I forget it. So anyway, now we have these, and based on the fact that they uh, were substituted from the 100 grams, it might not be exactly, and we, we did some rounding, uh, but I tried to get four decimal places to see how close we can get to one. And this is a thing I, I would always recommend doing this step, just making sure you know that it adds close to one. So I'm just summing them right now. 0.7906. So I actually got 0.9999. So I'd say that that's a pretty good level of, you know, confidence and accuracy uh, that the that these numbers here are the correct mole fractions. Um, so yeah, that's I think a good way to to always double check yourself. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much as as challenging as these types of mole fraction problems can get. So yeah, hopefully uh, this helps someone.